How you doing, everybody? It's me, Creakles. Right the fit. So ever since the first creaking update snapshot dropped uh, about a month or so ago now, I've been obsessed with this thing. I've been checking out seed after seed after seed, and at last, I think I found the best ones. To kick things off today, what if I told you that this seed right here with the total of four creaking trees might be the best creaking seed? So here with this one, it all starts with World Spawn. The World Spawn is located on an unassuming cliff with this really cool overhang that's nice. Always when I'm looking for a good seed, I love me a seed with some unique custom generation. And this hill right here, I mean, it instantly throws me back to like Alpha Minecraft. That cur on the top of the thing with a tree suit, ooh, that's clean and sick. Now our seeds today, they should both be working on Minecraft to Java and to Bedrock. However, I did test them on Java and the whole video was filmed in Java too. I'll go ahead and leave both of these seeds down in the description below for you, but you'll only be able to find them down there if you tap the like button from world spawn right here with that fire clip if we went out in a straight direction one small skip across the forest a little hop over the river and we find the world's smallest creaking bio and a puppy that hasn't moved in hours now right now the creaking biome being a variant of the dark oak forest biome that means when hunting for creaking biomes you could basically just look wherever the dark oak forest is in between world spawn and world's smallest creaking biome right over there we have a very cool ravine with an exposed to the surface dripstone caves biome. now for now to find the really cool stuff we have to leave world spawn so we've got the creaking biome the hill right over here behind us we have a cherry blossom biome immediately taking a look at this cherry blossom biome really cool wall the mountain generation is what i like to call it where you have like you know like a gigantic sort of jump all the way up to the top with the change that they did to the sky inside of the pale garden biome it makes me realize that the cherry blossom biome should totally get like a more blue sky or something right as soon as we crescendo over this wall hill generation, we find a really cool cherry blossom biome that is shaped like an infinity sign. Double the bowl action going on right here. You got a low spot in the middle right there. It's really cool. And then another little larger low spot in the middle over there. This might kind of be a fire spot for a base. And if I was making a video about cherry blossom seeds, I mean the infinity cherry blossom biome, it kind of checks the box too. I'm not going to lie. But just you wait, there's more. The real fine noticers of the details, you will see that we start to get a hint of what's coming next right here. Up at the top of the cherry blossom biome, we get a village. <laughs> Sorry about that, that was Rex. All the way down to the bottom, we get the real deal. Take a look at this village in the wall generation right here. If you thought that first wall was fire looking, you didn't even see this other wall. We have a structure on the wall itself. And then right here, some fire cave generation as well. Look at how the dripstone caves kind of cuts it in the mountain right here with the whole giant cut. But, 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 I realize this all isn't the creaking biome. See, this gets all a bit philosophical here, but looking at the bigger picture, to get yourself a good creaking seed well the beauty isn't all just within the biome itself right but within the biome itself let's head there next so moving on we have this really really cool wall generation infinite to cherry blossom biome village whatever from this spot right here if we turn around we find some really cool mountains generating and if you look real closely no 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 it's not stone you see in the horizon it's actually the garden and that brings me to another interesting point that I like to make about this biome. When this thing sits on the horizon, like off in the distance, if you're not zooming in, like with a spyglass or whatever, it almost starts to look like just a patch of stone on the mountain. And yeah, I don't know. I just think that's a really cool feature of this biome. Now, as we start to approach this one, we've got ourselves a beautiful fjord and a bunch of water that goes down into a cave situation. Another great opportunity for a base, especially with the dripstone stalactite stalagmite things hanging down. But this biome, this creaking biome right here, it's almost in the middle of like a mountain and bowl shaped generation type thing, if you know what I'm talking about. That would be really cool. But instead right here, we get this biome sharing the middle of the mountain with a couple of other different biomes too. But it's not bad because this biome right here, it starts to get a little bit larger. Creaking is cool and all. Cool cave that dips down. That's even more cool and all. But maybe what's most cool of all is what happens right on the other side of this mountain. I've never seen woodland mansion generation happen quite like this, but we have the mansion literally colliding with the mountain right there ending up with snow on top of the mansion the mansion leaves the dark forest biome and uh, yeah i mean it's a back-to-back -back right here the pale garden the mansion separated by a beautiful mountain range right there and to just in general beautiful mountain ranges scattered all about over here you also have an ancient city down under the ground over here lush caves biome over here too and look at that good mansion i gotta be honest i don't know if i've ever seen a stronger foundation
So that scene was pretty cool, but maybe you yourself are a little bit more of a fan of those biomes that get a little bit larger. Well, if you're looking for that, I've got you. In the world seed generator, the word pale, no lowercase. I don't know if that actually makes a difference, but yeah. And make a world with that word as the seed. Just in case it doesn't work out, here are the numbers on screen, and it all begins like usual at world spawn. Now, world spawn is out of this world. It's in a biome that I personally love. I love these gigantic trees even better. These gigantic trees mean a gigantic thing. The dogs. It's all about the dogs always. The dogs inside of this biome that I have found scattered across this thing. This one impacts. Oh, wow. They are so good looking. I love them. You also, right near world spawn, feel so small. The trees are gigantic, but also have a lush caves biome beneath the ground. That's cool. But today, it's all about the large, pale biome. So flying up where we can get a little bit of a view here, we get a bunch of cold biomes to our south. Then we have this really cool mountain off in the distance behind the fog. That's really cool. Check that out for a great base opportunity, or maybe just a lot of exposed stone and iron. Turning around this way, we have another gigantic mountain in the distance. However, from world spawn, I haven't moved an inch. If we to climb one of these trees pretty quickly we'd see a gigantic pale biome in the distance separated by the other giant spruce tree biome these other trees mean you'll be able to find that black wolf variant inside of this biome but anyway setting out for this pale garden biome immediately as we get closer and closer we find that this biome is not only dense but it's pretty sizable too not exactly the biggest one that i've ever seen but a pretty sizable biome this pale garden biome is pretty run-of-the-mill other than this slightly larger size than usual. It's got some interesting land generation, but nothing too specifically, like, significant. A couple of caves, some small overhangs that make the difficulty a little bit dangerous. Oh, what's that? A window to the lush caves biome. Okay, I take it back. Like, maybe this is kind of cool, but with the decent size of this biome right here, you are bound to have more than enough space to reclaim this biome as your own base. However, oh, off in the distance, we have a pale garden that maybe pales a little bit well usually they would say like pale in comparison but that doesn't exactly capture the vibe i was going for it's going for like the other biome is bigger pale garden biome across this interesting water generation that we have right here we have another big mountain range and a couple more gigantic large pale garden biomes so our first one right here is kind of a diagonal ender pearl or two throw away it's a little bit smaller than the first one big cave on the floor but the view from this one, in my opinion, is quite nice. If you play with high render distance and build like a taller building here, you get those really cool trees off in the distance, the other pale garden biome, and some mountains nearby too. This other pale garden biome right here, it might be a little bit larger than both of them, but it is a little bit thinner too. This is a pretty long stretch of pale garden biome leading up towards this really cool snowy mountain over here. So you get a garden, you get a garden, you get a garden as well, but there's also not just gardens here. Circling back to what we said before, beauty is sometimes in the beyond, and oh, the beyond right here. This is one of the coolest lush cave generation that I have ever seen. It's a fully exposed lush cave biome to the surface, not a single block above your head in front of you. If you want to settle inside of the pale garden biome and have a really unique, a crazy lush cave generation biome, like right next door, I mean, look at this thing. This is such a rare situation. If this video was about the best lush cave biome seeds or something, like, I mean, I would have to include the seed. I don't think I've ever seen a lush cave seed that is more fire than this one right here. You have axolotls literally spawning underneath nothing but the sun. It's so cool looking. And honestly, when I found this thing, I kind of forgot about maybe even settling in the pale garden biome. It doesn't matter to me anymore. This thing is so cool. This is really fire generation. And it's all right at world spawn and pretty sizable too. Like, that's a great amount of space for a base. I also like how it's kind of walled off from this fjord right here with like a little bit of a wall, but not too much either. It wouldn't be too hard to like dig this away and have it fully open to the fjord so you could sell away. Now, our next move inside of this seed, we're not done here quite yet, is over inside of this biome right here. This is the closest pale garden to world spawn. We're gonna go ahead and run ourselves a little command. Locate structure mansion. We'll find that the nearest mansion isn't really close at all, 3,000 blocks, but we'll send ourselves there. You see, the thing here is, we know it, we love it. The mansion is a unique structure to the Dark Oak Forest biome. The Dark Oak Forest biome is pretty similar to the Pale Garden biome, which means nine times out of ten, you find these biomes right next door to each other. You already know. So we go ahead and find ourselves a mansion inside of this world's strong foundation again. Dark Oak Forest biome in one jump across the river right over here. We've got yet another Pale Garden biome. This one's kind of sweet because you can set up your whole base inside of the Pale Garden biome and have a perfect view of the enemy straight across the way. And a big chicken. <laughs> 
a quite large one. I also really like this pale garden biome because if we take a step back, we can take a look here and see that this thing generates almost exclusively on a plateau on its own. It's raised above the dark oak forest biome in a really cool way. Like how this ends up sitting right here in the horizon with the mansion popping up over the biome. It just looks so hard. It's pretty cool too because we have this giant pale plateau if you want to call it that. But then we also kind of have this like gradual slope climbing the pale plateau as well. So almost like a like an entrance to the base if you will. Also, just in general, a really cool location for some kind of base or something as well. Again, with different mountains nearby, it's pretty sweet. And there's an ancient city close to here too. But if ancient cities are your big dream, back over here at World Spawn, take a seat, take a seat. Locate structure, ancient city, 45 blocks away. It's a joke. I mean, look, it doesn't get any closer than this. Really cool lush cave under World Spawn, but deep down, the deepest depths, a gigantic ancient city in a trial chamber kind of nearby too so those are in my opinion two of the best pale garden seeds but i already know it you probably found one too if you did tell me about it down below or even better post a screenshot with the seed over on my subreddit r slash waddles i definitely a little bit later on i feel like the generation of this biome is going to change so you can count on another pale garden seed checkout video from me later on anyways tap that like button subscribe for more videos on the end card is a playlist and i'll see you next time goodbye